Hello and welcome to the latest edition of The Exchange, brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Douglas Jonas, your host. And as a reminder, today's interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE does not recommend investments or investment strategies. I'm joined today by Amit Anand. He is the co-founder of the ETF INDF. Amit, thank you for being here. Yes, my pleasure. Thank you. Now, let's kick off a little bit and talk to us. What's been happening? How should investors be thinking about the emerging markets? Yeah, so India is a really important market for foreign investors. Um, it is the fifth largest economy today, and it's poised to become the third largest economy in the world uh, by the end of this decade. Um, historically, investors could get access to India through the broad emerging market ETFs uh, because it was a, a, a really good correlation between the two. Um, that has broken down this year. So this year, um, India is outperforming the broader emerging market index, and that's causing a lot of investors to think about whether they should have a standalone allocation to India. So when we start to look at ETFs, how have India-based ETFs been performing then relative to broader emerging? Yeah, this has been a great year for uh, the Indian stock market and for Indian ETFs. Um, India is one of the best performing markets in the world. Uh, Indian ETFs are up anywhere between 15 and 25% year to date. So now, okay, thinking big picture, advisors, right? How should they be thinking about India versus emerging markets, just relatively speaking then? Yeah, so because um, India has outperformed the emerging markets this year, um, the valuations have diverged. Um, historically, uh, India traded at a slight premium to the emerging markets. Um, that premium has increased quite a bit. So what that means for uh, investors and advisors is that um, to invest in India today, you have to be a lot more sector specific and stock specific. Uh, for example, the broader market is trading at all time highs relative to the emerging markets. Um, but for example, the financial sector, which is what INDF tracks, is actually trading in line to its historical average. So let's stay on that. Of course, INDF, your first ETF here at the New York Stock Exchange. What is it that INDF really does for investors? Yeah, the reason we launched INDF is because uh, we were convinced that the financial sector is the crown jewel of the Indian stock market. Um, it's had the best track record in terms of uh, historical performance. Uh, we think looking forward, there are a bunch of structural things going on on the ground in India, uh, including rising smartphone penetration, increasing flow of credit, uh, GDP growth. Uh, India is supposed to be the fastest growing uh, emerging market for the next two years. That all benefit the financial spec uh, sector specifically. And um, the other thing that INDF um, uh, is notable for is that it is the only India-related ETF that has a double A ESG rating. Um, generally, it's hard to find A-rated um, uh, ETFs in the emerging markets because the benchmark tends to have oil and gas exposure, uh, but because INDF is financials only, um, it was able to secure a double A rating. And of course, ESG being a very hot topic throughout all of this year, certainly into next year. Now, if you caught this episode live and you're looking for additional ETF educational content, you can find that on our website, homeofetfs.com. That's homeofetfs.com, brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs.